to shape the type of barking like that's a pretty high pitch sometimes you can you can get a more powerful bark and then start to as he offers a more powerful bark more and more you can start to wait for that to make movement so back up and restart him he's kind of locked into prey there a little bit Well, he learns that, yeah, if he doesn't have to bark to get stuff, barking is maybe not, not going to become a part of the equation. Go ahead and let him have it when he barks again. You know, like if I can teach these puppies pretty quickly not to bark by only waiting until they do that to make movement. Right. But I, and I, a lot of times barking doesn't really matter to me, but most of the time if you're, if you're going to do sport work with a dog, barking is a very important part of, the, of most of the equations. Like if they're going to do... PSA or Schutzen, for sure they got a they got a guard and bark and a blind or whatever. They got a guard and bark and a blind and PSA. Well, the, you never know. The scenarios could could be that they do. You know, PSA doesn't really have the scenarios are different every every trial. Have you ever had a dog PSA? Or? I never competed in PSA at all. I've only been to a couple PSA events in my life. I lived with a, one of the best trainers in PSA, but yeah. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the sport. I'm not a huge fan of some of the people in the sport. So. Yeah. It seems like there's a lot of so How can you push her back, Mike? Like, uh, if you want to build, like, a opposition reflex, where do you pull her from? From Like, you need someone to help you, though. Well, there's two ways you can do that. Once I can come up behind him, I can pull him back like this. If I'm, his, if I'm the handler, I can do it like this. I pull him back. He wants to go forward. The other way is I can keep him on a leash. This is not really a leash, but... Pretend that it is. Can you see this? So if I'm going to work him by myself, I'm going to just choke him off of this a little bit. <laughs> so this is the kind of possession that, 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 that we're hoping to build. Right. right. So if this is my leash, I can wait till he's really giving me some powerful pulling. I get a bark. A little squeak will take. Now I can come back here from behind him. I can pull him back. I can teach him that when I pull you back, you need to go forward. So he's always going to push forward. Everything is forward for the puppy this direction. He's, he's always pushing in this way. His grip's always going forward. That's one way. The other way is if I'm in front of him, I can do it like this. He's not going to try to pull and tug. I want him to push me in. I push him backward. He pushes forward into me. See how he's pushing forward already? Yeah, he's driving. That's exactly how we teach that driving. In. Can everybody see that? Yeah. yeah. If he didn't have full bite or chewy, i pick it up for him, right? Yeah, for sure. If, if he doesn't okay. have the grip that I want, cool. I'll put him back in the kennel and we'll keep working him until he does give me the grip I want. Okay. Maybe I have to work just on grips for a few days. Okay, perfect. Thank you.